Hello everyone and welcome back to the game room. This is Michael. Uh, welcome to my review of this brand new scrolling hard hitter, as I like to call it, as I said in my previous review. Yes, it's uh, in other words, it's a side scrolling beat em up. It's brand new. It's been developed by a company called Hero Concept and it was released yesterday for both uh, the Xbox One and the PS4. And of course, like with all of my other games that I'm reviewing, I'm running it on my PS5. So yeah, basically it's backwards compatible if you have uh, a PS5. However, let's uh, tell you a little bit about this game and why it's well worth your time. First of all, you've got your usual modes. Campaign, which is your story mode. Arcade, good old fashioned one single credit to complete it. And no saves. So basically if you're hardcore, then give it a shot. Now what I would advise the first time you boot the game up, I would go into this option here of fighting tips and have a look at what each button does but not just that I think the thing that's really absolutely ingenious about this game now here's a table of icons now each one tells you what the icon means and what it does now you'll see these icons appear above the heads of your enemies and also your own and it lets you know what status your enemies are at and it's not something you'll probably memorize immediately. I think the more you play the game and the more you refer back to this table, the more you'll realize how in-depth this beat-em-up actually is. And um, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Now, I've been liaising with the marketing manager of the uh, Hero Concept Company, and uh, basically it's a group of uh, developers that always reply to your emails. They're, they're very, very courteous, and they really enjoy getting mixed in with the uh, community of, of gamers. So they are an absolute pleasure to actually chat to. So I've been speaking to uh, Emre, and um, I've had some uh, extremely interesting chats and some very good information about what this game is all about. So, on with the show. We're going to go into campaign. As you see, I've got a couple of game saves there. So we'll choose a new slot. Yes, I always play things on the easiest mode because I'm an old fart. <laughs> but my reflexes are still pretty good. Now, three characters to choose from. Um, each one, of course, has his or her own different stats, uh, different ways of fighting. Um, let's choose uh, Star, why not? She's kind of like the martial artist of the group. During my two weeks in the hospital, I had plenty Okay, of now for the purposes of the review, I'm going to skip through the narrative, mainly because it takes too long and we'll be here forever, and then also because I don't really want to spoil too much of the story for you. Now, another really interesting thing about this game is it's that it encourages multiple playthroughs because you've got three different endings. You've got over 30 different types of mobs and 12 different bosses. So, um, basically, you have to play it again to find all of your endings and to fight all of the diff different bosses. Now we'll start with the uh, visuals. As you can see, they're extremely vibrant, nice and cartoony, very, very colorful, and they're very reminiscent of Streets of Rage 4. Now, um, I don't believe that when um, developers create a game that's very similar to another that they're, they're actually copying. I don't believe that at all. It's, uh, it's very good to be inspired by a certain genre and then you can put your own twist on it, which is what these people have done. Anyway, first of all, animation-wise on the characters, it's like a Disney cartoon pretty much. It's very good, very smooth, very fluid. It's very fast animation. It's no nonsense. It does the trick. You've got a variety of different moves and combos. You've got special moves. Um, you have uh, moves that can clear away enemies that surround you. Of course, you've got to destroy certain items that reveal pickups like health or uh, fruit, hot dogs, items that boost both your health and your power bar, which you can see is the blue progress bar underneath. Now that empties as you use special moves. It refills when you take damage and when you give it, as you can see. So the idea is to gauge when to use it. Don't let yourself get surrounded. You can either use weapons you pick up or you can throw them at people. Like this big massive baseball bat, you, you can either throw it or you can whack enemies with it. It has a limited use, it'll eventually break. 
careful with those toys, fellas. You're gonna hurt yourselves. Someone picked off Stronghold. Send back up. Now the narrative has got some very good voiceovers. It's got some very good humor as well. It's very funny. Quite human. So uh, I think you should enjoy the story. Now, as you can see, when I was mentioning the icons above your enemies and yourself. Once you've memorized what they mean, I think you'll get a much better understanding of how to approach the game and how to approach different circumstances, how to not get surrounded, and if you are, how to kick a lot of ass. Don't forget to break barrels and containers. So as far as gameplay goes, the fighters are very responsive. There's no silly lag or confusion. It's it's a very solid game. Um, it's very responsive. It's um, basically it's very well put together indeed. Now I played an early demo of this when it came out on the Xbox One, and I was really looking forward to it. it this was months ago, and I, now. I'm sure I mentioned it in my other reviews. My favorite video game genre of all time is the side-scrolling beat-em-up. So when I saw this one, I downloaded the demo and I had a quick go of it and I thought, this is really good. Now on the Xbox, when you go into the section, that's provided you have an Xbox, where it says ratings and reviews beneath the actual game demo or game itself, uh, when people review them, they mention things to the uh, developers or leave messages, and like I mentioned to you, these people actually actually reply, and they're, they're very informative, they're very happy to chat with you. And uh, I thought, yeah, I think these people definitely deserve the time of day, and so does their game. Now, difficulty-wise, it's not an easy game, even if you play it on cadet difficulty. The more you get into it, um, the harder the levels actually become, and the more hard-hitting hard sorry, the enemies are. But I guess that's with all games. It does date back to the side-scrollers of the 80s and the 90s, so it's kind of paying homage to those brilliant games of, of the time, which uh, were token eaters. <laughs> The uh, marketing manager Emery used that term, and I think it's very charming. Token eaters. Yeah, so basically, you kept pumping coins into the arcade machine because you had that one more go factor. We're going to skip this, and we're going to go into fighting this boss. And yes, he's a dirty sod. Oh, I don't want to throw the gun at him. I'd rather shoot him with it, but too late now. <laughs> if you throw a weapon at someone, a firearm or something, it's... It, gets lost forever. So I'm pick up this other gun. So basically you have to be careful not to let yourself get surrounded. Now look at the icons above the boss there. So you have to attack him depending on what those icons are. Honestly you do get used to it and it does not become too much to take in in the end. It's just very strategic and uh, really in-depth. It really forces you to get to know your enemies and what they're about to do. You don't just mindly rush in there. You've got to really think about what you're doing. But at the same time, you have some great enjoyment because it's a cracking game. So, would I recommend it? Yes, wholeheartedly. And, of course, the big question, is it as good as Streets of Rage 4? <laughs> in a way... It nearly is. I mean, we love Streets of Rage 4. Um, it has an eternal charm. It's been around since the early 90s. But um, if you take Mayhem Brawler as a, a scrolling hard hitter in its own right, you're going to have a hell of a lot of fun because it's one of the best side-scrolling beat-em-ups out there. And that's without a word of exaggeration. So, yes, it's definitely worth your time. On the PlayStation Store, it's available for £15.99, and it's worth every penny. So, I hope you've enjoyed this review, and ciao, ciao!